You are listening to an all new episode of the Model Experience Podcast, live from the Model House. The Model Experience is the number one resource for models. Real models, real stories, real resources. Visit themodelexperience.net to learn more and be sure to follow us on Instagram at The Model Experience. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Model Experience Podcast. Hey. It's your girl, Miss Rio G. Summers. Hey, Rio. <laughs> and I am here with some very, very special guests, as you already know. First of all, I would like to introduce Miss <laughs> Ashley Runway. Hello. How you doing, girl? I'm well. I'm excited to be here. We have a super special guest in the house. You may or may not know uh, Sean oh, you, Ross. You better yeah. know him. Come on. Hello. 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 Sean Ross is... Personally, one of my favorite models of all he time. Is. Oh, thank you. Stop, no, for stop, sure. Stop flattering me. Thank like you, you do more. stuff it does. Do more. <laughs> the the no, boundaries really you are. that you break, you know, everything you bring to the table, it's pretty amazing. So yeah, and it is so pretty. Wait, oh. Who else do we have here as well? Oh, well, I was just going to get into that, honey. So I'm going to hand it over to our super producer, Ms. Hello. Lamaya Good. You know me, guys. Um, and we are just super excited today because this is a special day because we are doing tips from Sean. You know we have a show coming up. This is super important. We know everybody gets excited. And Sean is kind enough to always step backstage before the models go on and to really give you guys wisdom, knowledge. Make sure you can execute it right when you walk out there. So we're going to do this right here, right now. We're going to ask you some key things that we know you've addressed behind stage because you know he'd be backstage like, if I could just tell them. So just we're going to just tell them right now. So... Yes, yes, yes. Love, love, love. So what are we going to start it off with? Because guys, okay, there's so a few things. Okay, so what's, I guess you've been to so many model experience fashion shows. What would you say is the number one or one of the mistakes that you see a lot of models make? That way, off the bat, whoever's listening, <laughs> they can avoid, you know, that situation. Well, for me, I think the biggest thing that I always see at the model experience is that a lot of people don't take it as serious as it should be. Like... I look at the model experience, first off, as a way that people can express their talent. I think that it's something that's super important that a lot of people should always take in. When I'm backstage and I'm talking to the models, I always tell them, like, just because this isn't New York Fashion Week or it isn't Paris doesn't mean that you can't treat it as such. Right. You all start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like, my first shows that I ever did, um, like, I used to model for Hood by Air, which became a massive brand. Yeah. But then I also, like, modeled, like, I mean, before, like, I was who I was, I modeled for, like, random things that you probably like never heard of but it's like you'd be surprised who's in the crowd and you'd be surprised at who's watching so you always have to make sure that you're, you're on your a game all the time and and i think that the biggest thing that i see when i'm at the model experience is a lot of people enter the runway um we're not i wouldn't say that they're not serious but you can kind of tell that they didn't really think about what they're going to do or they thought too mm. hard that it came out off to be like too much right so it's important to understand the career that you're jumping into and take it serious and make sure you've done research, that you're prepared, and you're not just walking out there trying to show yourself off because exactly. we all know that fashion like, is about... Do your research and like look up some YouTube videos. Like I always tell people that when I've been backstage, I'm like, now I want to ask you all a question before I like, crit you know, critique you. Like, have you seen anybody do 80% of the things that you just did on a runway? Yeah. No, you haven't. So yeah. You why say do that it? all the time. But I'm like, so why do it? Like, I'm sitting here seeing people with, like, on the runway with their arms over their heads. Show me it. And they're, like, going and they're, like, pointing towards their cheek. I'm like, what, like, naughty girl? Okay, wait. Can you just freeze frame some of these? When you're at the end of the runway, don't do any of this. Don't do any of that. Don't do any of that. We've never seen any of these things, so don't do it. Keep it simple, keep it confident. Where it, this actually is a pose, like in, in couture back in the day, where you know you go and you extenuate the hips, but people be like, who? Oh my gosh, wait, hold it. <laughs> if we could just get a snap of that. I'm just like. So would you say less is more? Less is more. Um, I feel like less is more, especially when you are building yourself up because it allows you to get eyes on you without right. judgment. I'm um, not saying that don't, don't be afraid to be judged because people are always going to judge you, but I do think less is more. And I think it also gives you enough space to build up the entity. When you have people like Naomi Campbell, Tyra Banks, Veronica Webb, um, the list goes on with Adriana Lima, Jordan Dunn, Cecily Lopez, those bigger models, they're entities in their own way because... Yes, they started out the right way, but then slowly as they were also going down this route, 
they also like started to like lean a little bit this way and then lean a little bit that way but they made sure that the center was always there right and that their character revolved around what people normally see so when I'm when I'm looking at the runway, I love to see it a little bit clean. I don't always say like don't be boring. Yeah, because that's, that's boring. Yeah. It's a difference, but less is more. So then would you say that that can that story or that like energy can maybe like surface through more in your walk and less in your poses? Like you can have more pizzazz in the walk and a little more like pep in your step, but then when you're posing, maybe it's a little more simple. Yeah, it is. You know, it, and, and I agree, it should be more simple. Like you can have, like, I think like, uh, I think me and you were talking about this as well. Like me and Rio was talking about this, about having like, you know, like a strong walk. Like having a strong walk is so important because when you're like in a run, when you're on a runway and you're just passing by these people, like, they should just feel that force go that past energy. them. That yeah. wind, that everything. And it's like there are people who like will give me this stale, boring walk, and then yeah. you get to the end, they want to give you this and this and that, and I'm like, but, but your the walk, walk yeah, was, was just the whole way there. And then you also have to think about it at the same time that while you're sitting at the end of the runway, looking like a deer in headlights and like taking forever, you're also taking away from the time of like the other people that have to come behind you, right? Yeah. And the song or the timing of the show, you know, this is a specific time. Mm -hmm. That brings us to another point that you I was going to say that you bring up all the time, the timing. So when you're standing there holding the pose, because you always like cringe if it's too long. <laughs> how do you know when it's too long? It should be a beat. It should be like you walk, 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 walk. One, two, go. That's it. So literally, don't think too hard. Yeah, don't think too hard. I mean, you don't, don't want to be like, walk, 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 go. Like one, two, <laughs> yeah. go. Yeah. But you want to have a beat. One, two, three, one, two. Two, go. But how do you, how do you, when you're walking with somebody else, how do you manage to do that without looking over and going back and forth? Because I see a lot, a lot of times one of the mistakes we see is they're looking, they're looking, looking, at looking, at looking, each looking, other. looking, and that's the only way to get the. But I think that that's the thing. Not unless they're in your way. I don't think you should be waiting on the be other waiting person. on them because they should. This is the thing. They should be listening. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they should know, okay, I'm walking out here. They only said four two seconds. Not three, not four, not five. Yeah. So if they want to sit in for five seconds, they ruin their time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. It all gets back to like that confidence thing, having your signature walk, like just going for it. Yeah. You know, and, I had to make a lot of executive decisions, as I'm sure you did too yeah. when you were starting out. Like, Ooh, executive I, I always decisions. say like it's better and I hate no shade. But I always say like it's better that you take the lead. And, and turn that corner, then be the one waiting. waiting. That's so exactly. true. But that just makes both parties like... But a lot of people don't are afraid to be leaders and it makes me, you know, a lot of people come out to the mall experience, they fly from different states and I'm like, so you came out here to do this? Like, <laughs> you know, you, you have to come out here and you have to do it properly. Like, yeah, you yeah. come out here and give it your all. Like, yeah. don't just come out here and do what you could have did inside of your living room. You know, but a lot of people too, no offense, and this may be me adding my two cents in, um, whether this is put in an interview or not, but I think that a lot of people feel like being a model, especially with Instagram today, is just, oh, I'm cute, and my friends tell me I'm cute, so right, I'm a model. Yeah. It's like, no, like, it's a whole thing. Like, just because you're cute in high school and just because you're cute in your neighborhood doesn't mean that you're cute in real life. Mm -hmm. And what I, mean, what I mean by that is, I'm not saying that you're ugly, but like, that doesn't mean that you can sell clothing. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you have And sales. I think that's the thing that people miss. It, you're selling a product and a lot of people I really want them to get this when you're doing the model experience and you're training to become a, a professional in the industry you have to understand what the industry is about it is not about selling you you are going to sell the product and that's what's going to make clients book you, book you and exactly. exactly and then that's what ends up making an entity and then even when it's for the guys like some of the guys that I see at the model experience like you know, I see a lot of guys, you know, they come, you can tell they're still in their, like, in their masculine bag and they're still trying to just, like, you know, hold on to their <laughs> masculine. They are, they're trying to hold on to their masculinity so bad, but fashion is not really a masculine thing. That's it has true. masculine parts about it, but it's not extremely masculine. It drives from an effeminate world. So for me, when I see guys trying so hard that they get to the end of the runway, they want to grab their chin. What are we, in 1995? Why are you grabbing your chin? Oh Why are you crossing your arms? Sean John? <laughs> like, what, like, like, what is this? At the, and even in Sean John back in the day, yeah, they, they yeah, didn't yeah. really hardly do that. Right. So it's like, yeah. so I'm looking like, like what, are you, what are you even doing? And it's like, you're trying so hard. And at this moment, it, to me, it looks like a joke because you don't really want to be a model. You just want to do what you do at school. And that's a cute for people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fashion is super fluid. So I'm a new model, say. And I'm super nervous right now. This is my first time walking the runway, which this is many of our models' first time walking the runway. What 
tip can you give me to just ensure that I can have some kind of security um, going out there on my first walk and just kind of putting a tie on it, making sure, ensuring I have a good walk? Just being, um, always walking when you come out um, from backstage and you're walking out to the runway, um, walk dead center always. Okay. Keep your eyes, you know, a little bit below the light, you know, looking under kind of situation. Look Ooh. like a little demon a little bit. Is <laughs> that <laughs> It's a deer or a demon? It's a deer or a demon. It's a deer or a demon. A deer or a demon. It's, a or a de de it's either a deer or a demon. And you know, you're always good with being a little demon. <laughs> no. So, you know, I mean, give, Not it, the give it a little bit of energy and whatever the case may be, walk center. And also, like, don't like, like don't like walk. Always tell people when, when I was um, doing castings or I was doing only shows, they always said the best walk was to walk like you have somewhere to go. Mm, walk with it. a purpose. I always tell people, walk with a purpose. Like, I used to teach these three sisters how to do, I used to do runway coaching in my house. They really, really, really wanted to learn how to just, um, you know, do runway, not to become models, but just for this overall posture. Yeah. yeah. And I did it for them, and it helped them out a lot. And I always told them, I said, walk with a purpose. When you're walking on a runway, you walk with a purpose or don't walk at all. So how do you set that? If I don't know anything about what is walking with a perfect purpose, like, do I tell myself I'm on my way to the store and I'm I have to, to get the back store, before I gotta get to the train. Ice cream melts. I got Literally. this rent to get paid. Exactly. <laughs> I gotta get this. I gotta. I gotta get this check to my landlord. I okay. Walk, so it's literally walk putting walk an intention. A, walk in with mind. a purpose, and you really, and as you're walking with a purpose, as your swag to that purpose, yeah. but don't overdo it. Um, I think that that is the the big the, the biggest thing. And when it comes to the females, you know, like we're, we're not here for the you know the the all of this and the third. And then I always tell women because you know I love my girls that have curves and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, a lot of people in fashion, they want stick figures, et cetera, et cetera. And I don't really uh, celebrate that. But what I do feel like a lot of women that do have curves, is like, hey, if you know that you are, you're, you're very busty, or if you know that you have a lot of, you know, booty right. and things like that, you have to know how to keep that to a monotone level. Because a lot of girls be like, giving you that stink look yeah. where like, the boobies are jiggling. Once again, yeah. it's like, did like you see anybody walk. walking yeah. like this? Yeah. If you didn't, yeah. don't do it. Don't do it. I think that's so important. Take a look at what's going on right now in the fashion world. Before you hit the runway, I would think that you want to watch a few things that are runway. Yeah. And like you said, if you didn't see it on the runway at one of these high fashion shows. Why do it in real life? What's right. the purpose? You need to be doing your research too on top of that. There's a problem with really today's kids. A lot, of kids, a lot of youth today don't actually do research. Exactly. They don't. You know what, Sean, I was going to tell you, um, when I was in high school, I was like training myself. Everywhere I go, I get made fun of because I walk. <laughs> she I mean, I run a walk like, walk. everywhere. Constantly. <laughs> but it's something that actually helped me like get further. Yeah. It yeah. And it makes you have good posture. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, like, what is it? When preparation meets opportunity, opportunity. I knew, like, okay. Because you walk around like... That's true, though. I'm you the guys same way. Be... People be like, are you always on the wrong way? I'm like, no, I'm walking with a purpose. Do you have a purpose? Like... <laughs> yeah, these are key, important things. And, of course, we'll go through and single out all these things he just said. Yeah. But um, is there... What were you going to say? I think, you, you like know, you if people something. want any more, they need to come to the show. They definitely okay. need to come to the show. I like that. I like that. They definitely need to come to the show. And I personally, y'all can um, speak about it amongst yourselves. I would love to, cause Rio, don't you do like a model walking coach thing with them? Yeah, advanced model coaching. When, when, when does that? I would love to come to one of those. Saturday. Fun time. Oh, you want to come to like a group session? Let's do it. Yeah, like, like where they, where you're, like, yeah. you, you, awesome. you, you teach them how to walk, right? Yeah. Yes. I would love to come to one of those. Yes. What day is that on? Cause the show's on what day? Friday. Friday's the actual day that y'all teach them how to walk? Yes, Friday before the show, we have a session. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, right, so I definitely... Home. The day before the show, yes. Yeah. I definitely would love to um, come. I mean... I, I definitely would love, I would love to come. Lot. And I also want to... Um, I mean, this is, like, off the grid. I want to, like, go in and, and try to see, like, who's in town. Like, I want to, like... You know you know Cecily Lopez? Yeah. Cecily's one of my best friends. Mm. She lives in L.A. now. So I want to like invite her so she can just see. But that's what I love about you. That's yeah. why you're yeah. such a family to the model experience because you genuinely care. We're doing this because we care. Yeah, yeah. I think people, people should see it. And I think it's dope. Like there's so many people, like, like I said, off the grid, like there's so many models. Like, you know me, I started doing this with y'all. And you know, like when, we, when I created my relationship yeah. with y'all and I was like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't care who paid attention to not. Like it was what it was. But like, there's so many people like, oh my god, like you do nothing. I want to go again. Like models that like I like wow. personally know, like even like Adonis Bossa. Like Adonis, literally, yeah. like, like I want to go next time. This like, is I want to see it because a lot of people are are feeling like there's this the modeling world is so weird today where they're starting to say like, well, I, you know, 
A lot of people who've been doing it for years, they feel like their touch isn't needed anymore, but it is. Wow. So, so. it almost gives like a purpose for a the vets and people. Yeah. yeah, a repurpose. And just everything that we do, we should be passing it on to the next generation, passing it on to the next purpose and at per uh, person. So that's the thing that keeps these things just going on and being successful. And I, that's why I love and people And can I like just you. say that that's why this whole program was started? Because as a solution for like, for lack of a better word, like, you know, shitty photographers that maybe take advantage of people or yeah. aren't credible. And, you know, where do you find coaching? And basically it was just like, okay, this is a solution for mm -hmm. a lot of people that are being misled. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest thing about the model experience that differentiates us from other, not to just throw it out there, I'm not yeah. trying to be shady, but the truth is we care, we have experience. Uh, and those things are important. It's not just about throwing some company together and, you know. Yeah. I always tell the models, like, I wish, like, when I was getting started, I had something like this. Yeah. I wish there was a program that I could have gone to and, like, had more mentoring because I made a lot of silly Build mistakes. your confidence. Get content. Yeah. Make connections. You're networking. You know, it's And just... you know you're dealing with people who actually care. Like, this isn't just like, oh, we're trying to, we're trying to run game on you. You know, like, we really yes. care. All right. Also, too, I mean, I don't know, are we recording stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're, yeah we're, we're, we're getting to we're getting to the little wrap-up because, Sorry, wait, 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 honey, wait. we might need a couple clips of some of those things you were saying. It's hilarious. So, again, you can check out Sean Ross on stage at the Model Experience yeah, we can't Fashion Week much. event, March 7th and 8th at the LA Convention Center. Get tickets in our bio now. Right. Like, right now. Get it now. Right now. <laughs> If you're a new model looking to take your career and portfolio to the next level, visit themodelexperience.net.